It is time for Subnautica Biology with Chameleon. Greetings ladies and gents and welcome back to Subnautica, the must watch Let's Read of the series. Today we are going to read the PDA, the essential things that are important to the Let's Play, the information that are very important to the lore and the story of the game. So if you are interested and I, like I said, you should watch this, but maybe you've played the game before and you know all of this stuff already, you're not interested, that's fine, but this, this ought to be good. So here we go. Let's see, we are going to read the advanced theories and the data downloads. Let's start with the advanced theories. Alien eggs. Alright, alright. We've already found quite some eggs and you guys told me in the comments to ditch them at some point because there are plenty to find in Subnautica. So I've done that, but there's gonna be some good things we can do with this. Alien eggs. Evidence suggests that a substantial number, if not all of the local species, reproduce through egg laying. Eggs can be found resting on the sea floor. Buried beneath detritus, or even wedged into cracks in the rock. Different species likely favor different biomes as their nesting grounds. Eggs discovered in the wild are in some form of natural stasis, likely awaiting ideal conditions in which to hatch, or the delivery of some vital enzyme which will kickstart the process. Okay, that makes sense. It is impossible to calculate the species of the egg from the exterior. However, it may be possible to stimulate a hatching response if an egg is relocated to a suitable alien containment unit. Right, I know I'm very, well, after all the things that we have seen and re read, I'm pretty sure we can build an aquarium in this game in our habitat. Which would be very cool to host some beasties. Ah, the scanner! Oh right, I still have to scan myself. I'll do that this episode too. Specimen with symptoms of infection. This organism is displaying signs of a bacterial infection. Right, we have seen one... Of the fish. One of the stalkers, was it, who was infected. Bright green blisters are forming networks around the infection sites. Pathology suggests a waterborne bacterium capable of penetrating the body through the skin and respiratory system. Underlying indications of genetic mutation and aggressive behavior. The bacterium itself is unlike any so far recorded in human exploration. That makes sense. Warning! May be contagious. Avoid. Do not, under any circumstances, consume the flesh. Okay, I don't think we've consumed any flesh for that, but now I'm curious. I had to self-scan myself again. Infected. There's nothing else? The game told me in the first Let's Read that I had to scan myself. Well, never mind then. There's nothing interesting to see here. Let's uh, move on, guys, to the data downloads. Alien data... Artifacts, the alien rifle. Oh boy, this is gonna be great. Strong resemblance to human weaponry in form, this device must have been designed with a humanoid user in mind. Whether the aliens that built this structure were themselves humanoid or otherwise employed the use of humanoids is unclear. What is clear is that they considered defending this facility a necessary precaution. There's no obvious way to remove the rifle from the case. Right, we've seen the rifle in the alien uh, tower structure. And this indeed, that's a good th thought right over here. Did, because it looks so humanoid, are the life forms here humanoids? Or were they humanoid, the ones who built the tower and everything? Were they even human at some point? Maybe humans got infected on this planet and created a new species? I don't know. Doomsday device. Oh, that's that thing. Scans indicate this device contains enough potential energy to destroy the entire planet along with most of the solar system. Fortunately, it has malfunctioned. Now, that, that brings up a thought. It has malfunctioned, so was its purpose really to destroy the planet and the solar system because of this bacterial infection to protect the rest of the galaxy from this disease? I wonder, and maybe that failed. The alien arc. This structure's intended purpose is unclear. Theories on functions, ceremonial or religious role, industrial applications, and funds transportation network. Assessment, further research required. So that's the building, right? That we now found out that's just a gigantic laser. But okay. The energy core. This device houses energy equi equivalent to a 100 megaton nuclear detonation. Oh my god. Which can be channeled through the facility and directed at vessels overhead. Yep, that's definitely what happened. Or bend around the planet's gravitational pull to strike targets in orbit. Wow. 
Power is routed via the attached terminal, allowing for the device to be deactivated if necessary. We still have to do that, but we can only do that if we're not infected. It is currently operating without parameters, suggesting it will target any ship within range. That's what we have to do. We have to prevent... that. We have to cure ourselves from the infection, and then we can deactivate the laser, call for help, and get off the planet. I think. Force field control terminal. This device matches no known technologies, and is likely alien in nature. Power is being routed via the terminal to the nearby force field. The technology is far beyond anything encountered before by the Federation. Nonetheless, there is a good chance it functions like a regular lock and only requires the correct kind of key. Right, that was the force field that we disabled so we could get into the building, right? That one screen of, of lights that we couldn't pass through. The iron cube. Is that the, uh, the material I found? The alien material that looks like lead, but uh, like the shape of the lead material that we find, but it is very bright green. This green mineral, like I said, substance has no entry on the periodic table and an unprecedented ability to store huge amounts of ionic energy within it. Likely grown artificially, cubic appearance suggests it has been cut from a larger deposit. Each cube contains the equivalent ionic energy of 5 kilotons of TNT. Oh my god. Under the right conditions, this energy could be released in a controlled manner. Likely used as batteries, but would require a substantial power source to be recharged. Assessment, a valuable energy resource, and that's why we took it with us. Who knows, maybe it will be useful. The purple tablet, which was the key to bring down the force field, uh, to, uh, the force field right? In the uh, force field control terminal. This carbon-based device is lighter than it looks, and features a symbol which resembles a U. Mm -hmm. Lit up in purple. Despite the onboard power still functioning, algae growth on the exterior indicates it was abandoned hundreds, perhaps thousands of years ago. While the technology is far beyond Federation levels, and there is no obvious way to interface with it, it should nonetheless be possible to fabricate a precise physical copy of the device, if necessary. And that's what we can do in the fabricator right now, I remember that. Terminal data. The alien data terminal. Discovered inside an alien facility, that's again where we have been, it was not possible to translate any useful information. However, scans have returned some information on the device itself. It is likely a solid state computer, although there is no clear way to interface with it. On approach, it began producing a low frequency radio wave containing complex but recognizable data patterns. It is likely the alien species which designed this technology evolved or genetically selected sensory apparatus to hear and understand the information being broadcast by the device and to communicate back. The mental processing power required to perform this kind of telepathy would imply the designers were considerably more psychologically developed than the common human. Assessment further research required. Oh boy. The aliens were telepathic as well. They're humanoids and telepathic. Woo! I, I think we are outnumbered or out, outdone here as the human species. We are, we, are, we are screwed. I need to get off this planet. But I kind of don't want to because it's such a cool place to be. This data. Uh, what is it? The enforcement platform schematic. This data sets appears to be a multi-dimensional schematic of some kind. By mapping the pattern to three-dimensional space, it is possible to gather a basic understanding of this facility's internal workings. Construction material. The facility the facility's unknown construction material is identified as an ultra-hard, non-reactive metal amalgam synthesized from off-world materials. There is no indication that it can be damaged or destroyed by available means. That is some that is some material you got there, the Mr. Alien. That's some badass material you got there. Power. The schematic indicates the facility was to be powered by a separate self-sustaining power plant, located elsewhere on the planet. The location is not listed, but there is evidence the designers intended to harness the planet's natural thermal energy. Can we find that place? Oh, that would be so cool. I really hope there are more alien places to be found within the game. And not just that one facility that we have found so far. Layout. The facility consists of the upper engineering section, where this schematic was found, and the control room, which is assessed via a security sealed elevator shaft or a separate underwater moon pool. Right. That, that, that's the thing we found as well that was really, really huge, where you could park a really big ship in. Control. The control room in the lower section houses the only known way to interface with the facility. However, the schematic does not de detail the operation procedure or installed security measures. Yeah, we've been there. Okay. Uh, that was the alien data. Aurora survivors. 
These were the logs. Have we have we have heard the logs. We have listened to all the logs. So I do not have to listen to those again. We have done that. Codes and clues. I think here it is going to get really interesting. Alien facility locations. There are multiple. Oh yeah. Intercepted background data regarding further alien facilities. El <coughs> Sorry. Elsewhere on the planet. Disease research facility. Is that where I can cure myself? Depth, 800 meters. Oh boy. Location, cave system with extensive fossil records. Southwest of enforcement platform. Where is the enforcement platform then? Function, live specimen study. Objective, synthesis of antidote for higher infectious bacterium designated Cara. Is that the name of the disease? Cara. Cara. I don't know. Thermal power facility. Ah, that's what we just read about. Depth, 1200 meters. Location, inside an extensive natural rock formation in an area of intense volcanic activity. Oh boy. Function, generate energy for all local facilities. Nice. Sanctuary A, data corrupted. Sanctuary B, data corrupted. Offsite laboratory, data corrupted. And primary containment facility, data corrupted. In the event of an outbreak, quarantine procedures will be automatically enforced with intermediate effect. The quarantine enforcement platform will target all incoming and outgoing craft to prevent the spread of infection off world. Yeah, that's exactly what happened. Again, high security terminal, the captain's quarters. Before they lost communications, Altera HQ uploaded a set of blueprints via Aurora's main computer. There is a high security terminal inside the captain's quarters. Oh, located behind the prom bay. From which the blueprint should be accessible. The code is 2679. So we can actually get quite some nice blueprints if we go to the Aurora and find the captain's quarters. Nice. Lifepod 4, transmission origin. Oh, look! These are the. Yeah! These are Lifepod 4 and Lifepod 6 where we had radio messages from, but the data location was corrupted. This is very close to the Aurora. This is very close to the Aurora, to the rear end actually. We might even be able to find it. To be quite frank though, that gigantic big monster is there too, the big fish who, who apparently is known as the Reaper. Kinda not feeling that. A distress signal has been received from Lifebot 4, but the attached coordinates were corrupted. The last available photographic data has been downloaded and analyzed. Flotation device says active, Lifebot located at sea level. Oh, it's just floating around. Oh, but then it's probably on the back side of the Aurora, on the other side of the ship, because otherwise I would have seen it. Pod is in close proximity to radioactive fallout from the Aurora, so it's probably dead, the people inside, because of the radiation. Isn't that also what we heard on the message? I think so. Transmission origin approximately 150 meters northwest of the Aurora's port midsection. Yeah, exactly. That's what I thought. So it's... Wait, it's northwest of the Aurora. So if I look at my thing... It should be in that direction, which is in the direction of my creep vine. And I think it's also in the direction of the Aurora. Shall we just go check it out for a moment? Welcome Let's just go up. Board, see where the Aurora is again. Here we go. No! It's north... I see something floating over there, but that's not it. So maybe we can just find it right over there. That would be awesome. That's just for later. It's not for now. Maybe we'll be able to find it. That would be cool. All right, let's keep reading. Um, all right, so maybe this is one we can actually go to then without getting attacked by the Reaper. Maybe. Lifebot 6, transmission origin. Oh, this is on the bottom. This is bad. It's also red. Red seagrass around it. A distress signal has been received from Lifebot 6, but the attached coordinates were corrupted. Last available photographic data has been downloaded and analyzed. Crew requested assistance navigating radiation. Again, bad. Sunk to approximately 100 meters. It's not that bad. Located in an area dense with red grass, near a number of natural arcs and rock stacks. Should be easy enough to find. Transmission origin approximately 400 meters west-northwest of Lifepod's first last known location. Wait. Transmission origin approximately 400 meters west-northwest of Lifepod's four last known location. But I do not know. Oh, life but four lost. Oh, so we can find four. And once we have found four, we can go move on and find number six. It should be possible, I think. Not yet. Maybe we'll do that this episode, though, because we are very close to reading all of the things. 
All right, the Degasi survivors, Altera search and rescue missions. The Degasi crew manifest the Margaret Ma Maida or something, whatever that might mean. Auxiliary search and rescue mission. Margarita Maida. Position freelance security personnel. Status lost in space near planet 4546b. Age at time of their appearance 42. So this is a person. Marguerite Maida. I think so. Mercenary. Yeah, it's a person. Born in the Mongolian states. Experienced in ship to ship and close quarters combat techniques. Tours of duty with the Mongolian Defense Force and the Trans System Federation. Dishonorably discharged from the TS uh, TSF. 15 years ago for going off mission. Details classified. Okay. A missionary Kassar reports Maida was hired to accompany Paul Torgol on board the Degasi into uncharted space and defend the ship in case of assault by pirates or rival corporation. So are you part of the Aurora ship? Because we are here talking about the Degasi. Maybe we were searching for the Degasi? Maybe the Aurora was searching for the Degasi and that was also brought down on this planet 4546B and now we went down and then the sunbeam came to pick us up and went down everything <laughs> everything goes down okay geological data there's still some over here wait was it the geological data no the advanced theories and the data downloads we already read this one so that's it we've read everything oh my god that was a lot quicker than I thought should I spend this episode Go trying to find lifepod 4. Let's just go do that. Let's just go do that. Um, let's see. Let's go to data downloads again. Codes and clues. Lifepod 4. So it's active 150 meters northwest of the Aurora's port midsection. Let's just go into... Uh, oh, I actually go need, need to go drink some water as well. Let's see. Let's go consume some of the water that we have. There we go. Now let's go back to the data bank. Let's see. Let's go on a hunt, guys. Let's go on a hunt to find... Oh, you're actually a little bit damaged. That's not good. Oh, it is night time. Nope. I'll just... I'll just... I'll just... I'll just go here. You are damaged anyway, so I'll repair you. And then maybe I go hunt for some food. And then when it, once it's daytime... No, no. I didn't want to go inside. I wanted to repair the thing. I just wanted to repair the thing. There you go. Thank you. Let's go back into the moon pool. I'm sorry, I'm bad. I'm gonna go hunt for some food. Maybe some more water. And once it is daytime, we are gonna go out and explore. Yahoo! Maybe while we wait for it to get in daytime, we could go look into this. Cave silver, creature egg. You know, this is a scanner room. Look at this. Was this here before? Was this as big? Like scanned? I don't remember, but it's really, really cool looking. The scanner room upgrades. And, oh, no, there's also just a fabricator right here. That's good to know. I'm just wondering, control a camera? Nah, not yet. I'm wondering, can you go search for fragments, say? Ooh, it's scanning. Okay. Oh, yeah, you can see it's scanning, like, the waves and everything. Is that a fragment? Oh, does that mean that there's a fragment right over there? So if I now say... Control a camera... Does that also mean I can go... There, fragment that way. I can go into the direction of the fragment. With my camera. That's really cool. Can I also interact with the fragment? Can I scan it once I'm there? I wonder. And I wonder if I can only see it because of the camera. Oh man, this is really fun. Oh, this is really neat. Can I scan you? I cannot. But this seems like a safe place. Alright, let's just go back. Can I actually just attach again to the thing? I assume I can. So I just have to follow this edge and then I can find a fragment. I'm not even sure if we already have that fragment, but... This this is nice! I like this! I, I We have to upgrade this thing though for a broader range. But, you know, still. There we go. Am I attached now? I, I think I'm attached. Again. Yeah, I was attached. Just go back. I'm attached. Okay. Uh, oh, there are more fragments there. Like three! Oh, it's still scanning! That must be it. Oh, wait. I, I wanna attach to my to my place. Please. Okay, how can I cycle through cameras? So here I can go to the second one. Okay, neat. But how do I get out of this? Okay, just uh, pressing escape. Oh, there are a lot of fragments right over there. Ooh, that's nice. I guess we're just gonna go there. Oh, it's daytime. 
Isn't it? Yeah, it's getting light. Okay, we're gonna do that later because we are gonna go find life pod 4. So pod is uh, floating, apparently, approximately 150 meters northwest of the Aurora's uh, midsection. So let's go take our ship and go close to the Aurora a little bit. How, how is my equipment? I only wear radiation. Yeah, okay. I'm pr protected from radiation. It's kind of important right now. Yoohoo! Okay, let's just go up first. So we can see where the Aurora is. Because I forget. Where is it? Is it right there? Come on. Okay, it's right there. Let's go... F oh boy. Oh wait, I have to see where I'm going. Let's go this way for a moment. Northeast. So we can get close. Ooh, that's a nice tunnel. Oh yeah, I know of this tunnel, of course. It's been a while since I actually played Nautica like Explorers shit. So, you know, I do not know what we are going to find. Maybe we're gonna find bad stuff again, like a reaper. Please, no. That reaper is fucking scary. Okay, still going this way. We have to go, like, to the midsection. At least that's what it said, kind of. But it seems... It said it's floating. And I don't see it. Wait, let me get out. Oh, God, no, not jump. I don't, I don't see anything floating on the surface, but maybe it is on the, uh, maybe it is underwater now. You know, maybe it just went down. Would make sense. Maybe it just went down um, after the, photo, the, photo, the, the the picture was taken. Ooh, hi, pretty ones. Oh, jeez. Uh, uh, still, I when I play this game, I always get a little bit scared. I always get a little bit scared of what we might find down here. Especially because I don't want to lose out on Chloe. What is that? Oh, those are the fans. Right, those... The things we just read about. Let's just go up again. Oh, boy, you guys are big. Uh, ta -da -ta. So we might not even know how deep LifePod 4 is. Why that f sound? Jeez, oh my god, that music is so scary. Hi, dude! Mwah. Okay. Um. So, let me check for a moment again. Data bank. It's pretty close. It's it should be right there. I think. Did I see something floating there? Wait. Oh god, I'm so close to this thing now. Oh god, and I'm so afraid I will find that reaper thing again. I just, I don't even know. How the F am I supposed to find this thing? Ooh, it's blue. Oh, jeez, I'm so afraid to find the Reaper. Why am I so scared? It's just a game, Chameleon. It's just a game. Hi, Sand Shark. Nice little reef over here. But even then, I still don't see it. Oh, God, I'm getting close. Oh, Jesus, okay, I should go further to the left to find it, I think. I mean, I'm looking around. I'm afraid to get into the sandy banks again. I know it's here. Somewhere. Let me see. Yeah, it should be here somewhere. Oh, God, yeah, this is sand. Oh boy, that's the sandy place. Are we gonna go there? How much time do we have to record? I, I still have a little bit of time. But I don't see it. I just really, I really don't see it. I don't know where... What is floating over there? Wait. That's it. Okay, that's it. That's the mushroom biome, cool. Now I'm still scared, because we found it. And if I was a game developer, I would put a reaper around here somewhere. Oh, jeez. I really don't see one, though. I think we're cool. Okay, let's just go. Oh, this is so close. <laughs> okay, I think we're safe. Let's go. Let's get. It. Can I get in there? How do I get in this thing? 
Oh boy. There we go. Can I get in from the No, I can't. Did I just Let's go back in my sea moth. Welcome aboard, Captain. Thank you! So, there we go. Now I'm Can I just Why can I not go in there? Oh! Alright, thank you. Let's see. First aid kit. And the open the data bank. Yeah! New blueprint! The creature decoy. Whatever that might mean. I don't think there's anything to scan in here. Oh, and there's a abandoned PDA. It's more to read for later. I wanna get out of this place. I, I don't I don't trust being so close to this thing. Nope. Bye bye. Oh wait, I shouldn't say bye bye. This is life pod four. So that means life pod six. Where is that then? Crew requested assistance, navigate sunk to approximately 100 meters, located in an area of dense red grass. 400 meters west northwest of life pod 4. Where is west northwest? This is west northwest, so that's away from the aurora. That's cool. Sunk to about 100 meters. At least this is away from the Reaper. So that's cool. Okay, let's just stay above these mushrooms. Now we have to find a sea of red grass. And then we can find it. Look at the mushroom biome. It's so nice. Okay, I'm way too deep already. Let's go up. Ta -ta -da -ta -ta. I think it's here so- There it is! Yeah! Look at us doing good shit! Oh, there's also a lot of wreckage over here, but I do not know if we already explored this. That's for later, that's not for now. Past Let's get out. I know. I know, another PDA! Woohoo! Scan? What is this? Let! Thank you! Uh, is there anything else here? Is there is there anything else here? I don't think so. There's no... No other thing than, than this. Oh, wait. Flares! Okay, thank you. I got some flares. But there's no... What was that sound? What the fuck are you doing?! Get away from a ship! Jeez! That's so not nice. Relax, dude! Jesus! Hold your horses! Oh my god! Okay, we're back at the creep fight. Let's just go back to our base and go read the stuff. Time for the final part of the reading! We got a blueprint. Let's see what we got. Let's see what it does. Da -da 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 -da. There it is! Creature decoy! Attracts creatures to its location, can be deployed by hand or by submarine. Cannot be reclaimed once deployed. Can this also... Decoy... A Reaper, possibly. Well, we found the life pods, that's, that's amazing. Blueprints, equipment. Here it is, the creature decoy. Awesome. But we are not going to read those blueprint things because that's way too much. Life pod 4 crew log. Here we go, guys. To any Altera crew. Landed in area of significant alien activity. Encountered predators in the Leviathan class, highly aggressive. Yep. Spectroscope scanner assigned species designator, Reaper. One specimen attempted to swallow the life pod, doing extensive damage in the process. Only viable option is to make for the safety of the Aurora crash site. Oh boy. I have retrieved a data box with the creature decoy and enough resources to fabricate a couple of them. The swim's longer than the decoy lifetime, but it should just be enough to keep them busy. If you don't find me on board the ship, presume I miscalculated. Oh, that's harsh. Alright, so the, those things do work on Reapers then. At least that's what he thinks. Lifeboat 6, Crew Log 2. Why is this Crew Log 2? What happened to Crew Log 1? Or was that maybe transmission origin of this one that I got? Something like that? I don't know. What happened to number 1? Did I miss out? gone so long. I thought you drowned. Put the flare down. I was going to try and attract someone's attention. That's not a distress flare. Stop waving it around like that. You'll catch the fuel line. Well, shit. Thank you, passenger. You don't know what you're doing. Oh my god, that is so bad. Well, I, you guys have to tell me if there's a first log that I just missed out on. But that's apparently why I found all those flares. And yeah, bad stuff. 
I'm going to leave this episode here, guys. For now, we have read everything. In the next episode, we are going to explore some more and start building some more, hopefully. Well, that will probably take several episodes, not just the next one. But you know what I mean. For now, thank you so much for watching. If you like this episode of me playing Subnautica, then give it a thumbs up. And then I will see you in my next video.